Microsoft PowerPoint is a useful program that has numerous applications, but its main function is presentations. Basically, it takes the place of the old slide projectors, overhead projectors, or easels, or flip charts. It's just a way to present your information through a projector or computer screen. And some of the basics of giving a presentation apply when you're doing a PowerPoint presentation. Basically, you want to give a summary, and then your content, and then an overview. And one way that's been described is to tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. And of course, you can also have titles, subtitles, and attention getters. So let's take a look at some PowerPoint basics. To open PowerPoint in Windows 7, go to your circle Windows icon at the bottom left. Left click once, type PowerPoint in your search window, and click on PowerPoint. If you're using Windows 8, there will be a square icon at the bottom left. You will right click on that, click search, and then put in PowerPoint as a search term. Let's click on PowerPoint. And we have several options, but this is just some basic overview, so we'll start with a blank presentation. We'll just double click that. And PowerPoint automatically assumes that you want to start with a title slide. You can always change that if you want. But let's go ahead and click to add a title. And in this example, let's say we're doing a presentation on cybersecurity. A subtitle, you can put your organization. And then maybe your name. And now we want to add a new slide. And the new slides are at the home tab in the slides group. And if you click new slide, PowerPoint automatically assumes that you want to have a content now or an overview slide. If you didn't want that, instead of clicking here, you could have clicked the drop down right underneath. And you could have chose what you want your slide style to look like. Let's go ahead and enter the title again. And here is going to be the overview where I'm going to tell people what I'm going to talk about. So let's say that I broke down cybersecurity into home security, school security, and work security. So that's my overview slide. And let's say that next I'll talk about each one of these main points. So I'll click new slide again. And so the title of this slide will be Home Security. And in Home Security, we might talk about locks. We might talk about visitors. And notice that I'm only putting basic information here. And it's just a reminder or a guide for your audience. A reminder for you or a guide for your audience. And of course, you'll talk more about each one of these as your slide is up. And so our next slide would be about... Let's take a look here, school security. So that would be the title. And here we might talk about, you know, not leaving, um, leaving backpacks unattended or don't leave backpacks unattended. And maybe some other options there. And for work security, we'll add a new slide. And we might talk about strong passwords, locking office doors, and so on and so forth. When you finish making your presentation, you can save it as a presentation file. We just click save here. We'll save to our computer. And we'll call it cybersecurity. And you can save this to your network drive or save it to a stick. And then when you're ready to present it, you can open it back up again. And you can click the slide show viewer here. And it's going to start from the beginning. And I click that. Notice I have a slide show. And this can be hooked up to a projector or folks can look at your computer screen. And you change slides by what are several ways to change slides. You can click your mouse. Left click is normally forward. You can click your, or you can press your space bar, which moves the slides forward as well. You can click P on your keyboard for previous. 
you can click in on your keyboard for next. And those are some PowerPoint basics. In other instructions, we'll talk about how to add pictures, animations, and other information.